Here today I'm going to show you a process that uh, that I use when I'm deworming horses. Um, first off, I'm going to start off by setting my dosage amount here, so I don't have to do that when I've got it in his mouth. And then I'm going to just I'm going to just use it like a brush. I, I'm, I'm touching him with my fingers here, but I've got this in my hand, so he doesn't associate me coming towards him with my hand in some kind of a threat, you know. So I, I'll get him to where he just really accepts that. I'd like for him to, to bring their nose to me just a little bit. And then right down here on the soft part of his, his muzzle, I like to have them where they'll let you rub on this. This is a real tender area, and it's got all those sort of cat feeler hair around there, so they're real sensitive about that. And I just rub on there until they let me put my thumb inside their mouth up onto their tongue like that and let them just lick on my thumb see right now he, he was pushing up into my hand just a little bit the halter and i just i just waited for him to come down and then i took it out so I'm, i'll simply just take my my wormer here and place it alongside where my thumb was and then go into his mouth now if he if he really gets bothered and starts raising his head up like that, I'll just wait. I'm just waiting here. I'm waiting for him to relax a little bit. Okay. And that's, I just held it in there until he sort of accepted it. And then I pushed the plunger in. It was deep enough into his mouth that I didn't have to worry about it coming out. And he didn't get upset about it. In fact, he just, you know, chewed around on this and and uh, used it as a pacifier, so to speak. So that's a that's a way to keep these horses from getting head shy over a simple deworming process.